And welcome back, everybody. Thanks for sticking with us. Captain Michael Harrington, Utica Salvation Army, is our guest. And we're talking about the Salvation Army activities, which are more pronounced now than ever before. What would happen if, uh, if, if some kind of, a, I don't know, a weather disaster or something like that were to hit now? I mean, you guys are stretched. Uh, we've, we've been at it uh, doing multiple things. We've had tornado responses, uh, hurricane, tropical storms, uh, the wildfires out in California. Um, so the Salvation Army has been on these scenes serving yeah. all throughout. Yeah. And uh, right now they've got a national program. I hear the uh, commercial on TV a lot uh, uh, in terms of the COVID. Yes. So, so we, we are, are past our first initial response phase for COVID, and now we are moving into uh, a pathway of recovery where uh, we're doing a little bit more case management. You know, the initial need kind of is, is leveling off, but we got a lot of people that are facing some very f tough financial times ahead. So um, the, there's been uh, some numbers that came out that are just mind blowing. Uh, we know that there's 10 million people unemployed currently, um, potentially between 30 and 40 million people um, facing eviction over the next, you know, so many months. So th there was actually even a, uh, a local survey where there was approximately 700 families surveyed. And out of those 700, maybe 30% of those families haven't paid rent since April. So, so we got a, a housing crisis that is, you know, kind of under the surface, you know, renters and landlords that is, is brewing and is going to have to be addressed at some point. So I, I know um, right now that you're not allowed to be evicted, um, but, you know, there, there's some extraordinary circumstances brewing out there that we are not done. This is not a sprint. This is not a quick finish, but it, we're preparing for a long haul marathon yeah. response. Talking about long hauls, how long have you been in the <clears throat> Salvation Army? I have been in the Salvation Army for over 15 years, and mm -hmm. I've been lucky enough to be in Utica for over eight now. And mm -hmm. this is my, actually my first appointment as a Salvation Army officer. And I, I've been lucky enough to be here for eight years. Mm -hmm. So my daughter was born up here and uh, now she's in the third grade. Yeah, good for you. Yeah. Uh, I remember when you came, you were a lieutenant then. Yes. Yeah. Sure. And uh, your wife is also an officer. Yes. Is that part of the, uh, uh, Part of the philosophy of the Salvation Army that they want a husband and wife team. So yes, uh, that's how it works. Um, there are single officers, you, you, you and uh, but generally most Salvation Army officers are husband and wife couple. Um, as you know, not one person shares all the talent and all the gifts. Yeah. Uh, my wife is very good at things that I am not, and uh, you know, so you know, we we kind of bounce off each other really well and uh you know between both of us we're able to get a lot done yeah the uh, uh the tenure that that a salvation army officer has in a community do they like to rotate uh officers in and out i remember captain pachuta pachuta yes. uh was a great uh, uh salvation army officer here prior to you yeah and he's in new jersey maybe yes he is yeah. he's actually in atlantic city right okay. now yep. and uh, so was when he left here and utican went to atlantic city was that like a promotion well it, we don't really look at it like that we look at you know uh we go wherever we're needed so when we sign up it's quasi army military terms and we know that you know we could find ourselves in a community for perhaps a year, maybe you'll be there 10 years. Nice. You just don't know, uh, you know, you just, wherever you are, you get to work, you do the work because you love it. And, you know, the, the amount of people I've met and the stories I got to hear and share and the experiences has just been awesome. It's probably not fair for me to ask you this question, but it wouldn't be the first time I asked a, <laughs> an unfair question. Uh -oh. If you were to, uh, total up the, the people that the local Salvation Army, the Utica Salvation Army touches in one way or another. I'm talking about the food, I'm talking mm -hmm. about the basketball, I'm talking about the 
religious services, all those things. How many people do you think your Salvation Army would well, touch in, in a year? In these current times, uh, I mean, I, I'm just, I would guess about 150,000 people, mm. you know. Yeah. The uh, people that can uh, help are the people that uh, will, and I know it's, it sounds like we're talking about the Red Kettle campaign, but too early, but we're not. You're already uh, working on it. If somebody wants to uh, uh, let you come and set up a, a kettle, yes. call you? Call us, email me, get a hold of me any way possible. Um, we're looking to, uh, our campaign this year is going to be a focused response on uh, Rescue Christmas. And we are incapable of rescuing Christmas by ourselves. We need to do it as a joint effort. If you have the ability to donate time, if you have the money to donate, uh, if you'd like to sponsor or match a kettle stand, uh, let us know. We got to do this together. We're going to have a... a I can imagine Operation Sunshine and us and our community partners, we're going to have a lot of requests this year. Mm -hmm. I, I can imagine more than ever. You said match a kettle. What is that now? So generally, um, so generally a, a kettle stand could make anywhere between 150 to maybe $700 in a day. So if a uh, business uh, didn't have the opportunity to actually physically go ring, and they wanted to match a stand they could uh you know whatever the income it was brought in that day or week or that location perhaps match that total mm -hmm. and then this way people's volunteer effort gets doubled good all right you got your work cut out for you so i'll yes, let you get do. out of here and go to work <laughs> uh, but come back before uh we get into the christmas season and uh, we can talk about the red kettle campaign some more great thank but, you that's going to do it for us this week. We'll be back next week. Don't forget sandwhyhomepage.com. A lot of good stuff there. Until next time, take care of yourself, everybody. <laughs>